Hey, thanks for joining us again today. Um, I'm going to talk very briefly about what a radical prostatectomy is and what are the important parts of the anatomy uh, to consider when we're performing radical prostatectomy. So this model represents the pelvic floor in a man. This is the bladder. This is the prostate in the middle and this is the pelvic floor here and the urethra, which takes urine to the outside. So looking from the front, it looks like this. This is a rectum underneath and you can see it runs underneath the prostate. And looking from behind, that's the exit of the bladder running through the prostate, through the pelvic floor and then into the urethra. Radical prostatectomy involves removing the prostate and stitching the bladder down to uh, the remnants of the urethra. So the operation essentially involves removing the prostate and then we have a gap here and we bring the bladder down to the pelvic floor and we stitch it uh, like this. What are the important parts of anatomy to consider while we're performing this operation? Well, we can see here, we've already mentioned that the rectum is very close by, that needs careful consideration. The bladder neck needs very careful consideration and the prostate needs to be divided from the bladder very carefully. The other important area are the nerves, and these are nerves which run down to the penis for erection. Uh, they are a uh, group of nerves that run through the pelvic floor. And the other very important area, once we've removed the prostate to consider, is the uh, urethral sphincter, and that's the circular muscle just here. Depending on the grade of cancer, sometimes the nerves need to be sacrificed and taken with the prostate. To remove the entire prostate means that we have to come very close to this apex, and that is positioned very uh, near the internal sphincter here. So this always does take some collateral damage, and this is why we, uh, one of the reasons why we do get some problems with um, continence in uh, some men uh, after radical prostatectomy. And just one other thing to mention is the pelvic floor. Now the pelvic floor muscle exercises that you undertake before and after radical prostatectomy can't strengthen the internal sphincter, that's under automatic control, but you can strengthen up the supporting muscles in the pelvic floor. So remember that the uh, pelvic floor sits like this when you're standing. And this is essentially like performing a bicep uh, curl. The more you do this, the more this muscle uh, increases in size and mass and strength, and it helps support that internal sphincter. I hope you found this video helpful. In the next couple of days, we'll be uh, uploading a edited video of steps of the procedure uh, as seen from the surgeon console. Uh, if you need to get in touch with us, these are our details and many thanks for watching.